Hey guys, I'm Dylan, and welcome back to the Prop Shop. Hey guys, we don't have an intro for you right now because we're not sure what our channel name might be changing to yet, so I'm just going to show you a little video of some beans. Yay! Alright guys, one quick thing I want to say is that there's no music in the time lapse in these videos. I didn't have time, and I really wanted to get this video out to you guys because it's super cool. And another thing is that this is only the printing, so if you want to see the putting together and painting of this, just go watch the part two that's already out on our channel, or it might be in the section right next to this video. I, I, I really don't know. Um, yeah, I guess just want to let you know. Okay, back to the video. All right, guys, so today we're going to be building the dark saber made by Case Study No 8. I'll try and zoom in on his stuff. They're probably zooming on his name even more right now. And as you can see, we're just going to download the files. This is the Darksaber from the Clone Wars TV show. Um, I mean, yeah, that's basically it. Like Darth Maul had it at one point. Let's see if any more images load up. Probably not. Okay, there's one. So as you can see, there's five parts. There's the emitter, emitter guard, the upper and lower grips, and then the pommel piece. Now with the Darksaber, it's basically just a rectangle, so it's going to be super easy. Oh, and I just got some um, flat gray paint that should be a good color for this. So we're just going to print these pieces, obviously put them together, and then we're going to, you know, have a Darksaber. So here's all the print pieces, and let's get to printing. Alright guys, right now we're printing the pommel piece. Just letting you know, I guess. Okay. Okay. So this is the pommel piece right here. I mean, yeah, there's not much else to say. It's just the pommel piece. All right, so here we have the emitter of the dark saber. So now let's get onto the emitter shroud. Okay, let's see. Oh, pretty good. So I did print it in clear, but it still looks, you know, right. Like it, like it works still. So, yeah. Also, just for clarification, this is clear, but I this is the second one I'm making because I forgot to record the print, so I'm doing that now, and then the footage in just a sec that will be about gluing these together is actually the first one I made that wasn't clear, so that might get confusing, but it, it's all the same pieces, it's just a different filament for certain pieces. Now let's print the upper grip. Sorry guys, this set of time lapses is really long. I would recommend like skipping through it, unless you wanna watch for like two minutes. Sorry. Wait, actually, there's something I want you to see, so just skip through to where I'm, like, doing stuff on my computer and just, like, listen to that part. Sorry, times two. Also, guys, because I'm really weird, I'm just gonna shout out these two. Obviously, like, Star Wars Theory, I feel like most people that know about Star Wars know about his channel. Uh, go check him out. He's got like a million subscribers and stuff. He's super cool. Uh, yeah, right there. And then also, this guy, Swanee Plays Games. He's a super awesome, well, I mean, YouTube guy. He does live streams, covers Star Wars Battlefront, and, well, I mean, actually kind of mainly that, but also lots of other games. And he has multiple channels and stuff. 
and he's super cool. He's trying to do this as a full-time job, YouTube as a full-time job, so just go subscribe to him and support him, because, like, why not? Okay, back to the print. Okay, so this is finally done. Where's the camera? Right here, I can see. Uh, okay, uh, sorry, that was kind of short. And also, sorry, this started kind of late, but I, I had to redo this one piece, like, at least five times, but I just didn't include the time lapses because it was, like, super freaking annoying. I literally rage quit for, like, two days and then went back to this, like, now, so... Yeah. Also, look at the computer screen. Sorry, times three. Alright, guys. I just got here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what was that? Like, I'm just editing this, and then I see him do, like, this insane trick. Hold, hold on, um, let, let's play that again. <laughs> whoa, whoa, jeez, this guy's so talented. He needs to go on, like, America's Got Talent and show the spin trick. Oh, my God. Oh my god, he just keeps going, oh my god, no, no, stop, stop it, uh, ah, ah! Okay, whew, that actually went well. So here, I can like shine it in the right way. We have the piece, so this is the little button, you know, and then we got this pattern. And then the pommel piece just fits right into here. I don't remember if it's this direction or this direction, I think it's this way. It fits right into there. We're probably gonna have to sand it down a little bit. And then these holes go into the upper part. Uh, so now we're just gonna get all the pieces and sand and glue them together because like that's what you do. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm sorry to leave you on a cliffhanger, but if you do want to see the part two and building and painting and cinematic shots and stuff of this, you're just going to need to like and subscribe. Okay, no, but actually, in all seriousness, just the part two's out right now. Just click on the channel, you know, like thing at the bottom right there, or it might be in the side under like recommended section. I'm really not sure how it works, you know, but just go watch that. And as always, I'm Dylan from the Prop Shop. And until next time, happy building.